Trading with the Napoli levels took many years to write. Now, I wasn't alone on the project. I had three terrific editors and a math guru helping me with the appendix. I only wrote one book, not 10. It was designed to last and it has. My goal was to answer almost every issue facing new and experienced traders alike. Apparently, the book hit the mark. It's been translated into 10 languages. It's currently on its third printing in English and they can't keep it in stock in China. The second printing is about to be published in Poland. It's really very gratifying for me. It's not a simple book. It's for serious traders and those that wish to be serious traders. No promises of quick and easy profits because there is nothing easy about trading. The book is 300 pages, but it's an entertaining read. I hate cardboard dry math books, so I didn't make one. My purpose was simple. The markets have been very good to me and I wanted to give back to those serious traders that needed a path lit up for them. A direction that was not based on wishes and BS. Joseph Oxano is one of the most dedicated traders I have ever known and trained. He's an Napoli expert and deservedly so. He approached me with this idea to create an online program in 2016. He wanted to do it in six months. Well, it's taken him over two years. When I first thought about creating this book in 1990s, videos were not a critical learning tool they are today. It wasn't actually possible to create high quality videos unless you were a big studio. Well, all that has changed and the combination of the book and the online course promises to be a huge benefit for those that are serious about learning this business. My best wishes to you on this journey and it's my hope that the markets are as beneficial to you as they have been to me over the past half century. And I paid a lot of money and spent a lot of time, as I said, with George Lane and Paul Tudor Jones and Richard Dennis. And many of those names might not mean anything to you unless you were a commodity trader in the early 80s. But I can tell you that those individuals' names were legends in the trading pits. These are people that are the best of the best at what they do. And I found this gentleman who had been doing this for, at that time, about 15 years. And uh, he, his name is often used uh, in terms like the father of Fibonacci, the uh, founder of Fibonacci trading. And it's a real treat for you to have a chance to, to sit with somebody that has been a trader for 30 years and the market knowledge that that type, type of individual can bring to you. And I want to introduce you today to my personal friend and somebody that taught me a great deal about the markets, Joe DiNapoli. Thank you. If we had this information, when I was trading futures back in 1982, 1985, 1988, can you imagine? Now, some of us had the power because of our connections and, how, and the quantity we traded to uh, you know, have sort of special connections, special abilities in the S&P. Uh, but that wasn't available to most of my clients. If you can use a really high quality uh, technique, trading approach, technique like what I'm going to show you. And if you can get a window in the market, so many more of you will um, be successful. Yeah. We want you to be winners. We're going to do our best to make you winners. It's important. Here's how I trade in a nutshell. It's going to be based on this simple uh, statement. I buy dips in an uptrend, sell out predetermined profits. I sell rallies in a downtrend and buy back at a predetermined profit. That is it. That's the whole game. Nothing more. Buy a dip in an uptrend, sell a rally in a downtrend. Now, in order to do that, what I do is I first decide, is the market going up or down? And after I figure that, that out, I apply the Fibonacci work, and that tells me where the dip is. It also tells me where to place the stop. It also tells me where to get out of this thing. And having real profit objectives in the market is so incredibly important. You do. For those of you that have read my book or looked at it, you know, I'm known as a Fibonacci expert. Um, I have that reputation. I speak around the world on the topic. I don't get to it until chapter eight. 
people buy the book and I don't want them to start at chapter 8. I want them to start at chapter 1 and get the context for the trade. The context for the trade is where it's at. If you don't know whether the market's going up or down, or at least have a pretty good idea, trying to use Fibonacci work to figure that out is at best extremely difficult. Hi guys, this is Joseph Axano from AxanoCapital.com. I'm extremely honored and fortunate today to be interviewing my personal trading mentor, Joe Dinapoli, right here from his trading room in Bangkok, Thailand. Um, would you share with us a little bit on your trading journey? Well, trading journey is a long one. Uh, the whole story uh, probably starts when I'm seven or eight years old. I used to walk into the living room and uh, see my father sitting at the uh, at the table, and he'd have newspaper unfolded in front of him, and one of these big adding machines. And this was this big clunky adding machine that you pulled forward, and, go, and he'd be recording something on the adding machine and looking in the newspaper. And I knew it had to do with stocks. So the the money came from uh, uh, shoveling snow. Boy, I can't remember the name of the firm, but I can still picture the broker. Brought me in there and uh, opened up a, uh, a brokerage account in Boston, and he was he signed it. I had my own separate account, and uh, that was when I got my first taste of it. From there to now, became a CTA and decided to make this my life's work. And um, I, I mean, I love it. It's just, <laughs> I love it. It's a great way to... Uh, make a living it's not easy it's very difficult and if I can help somebody or if I can help to change their lives or help them to reach their goals and if but if they give it a real try if that's what they want to do and I can help them as much as I can I mean, you can't make somebody successful but you can sure shine the light and if I can help them then that's that's a huge motivation on my part now I respect the courage of anybody that wants to do this for a living because it is so difficult. So it's, it's really a lifestyle choice. Pick your own hours. If you want some time off, you can take it. You, uh, if you uh, go someplace, you can literally take your laptop with you and you're still in business. I don't know, people have to just listen to their, to their inner self about, about, about anything in life. I mean, uh, you like to paint, you should be doing some painting. Um, you want to trade, you should be doing some trading. Now, it might take one hell of a long time for you to get good at whatever it is, but um, get a foothold in what it is you really like to do before you get so tied up in life that you can't do it. And, and, and that's a good idea. I, uh, I never considered it to be uh, uh, courageous. I just considered it that I was doing what I really wanted to do. And the truth of the matter is I love the markets and I love trading. 